I'm Samantha Freilich and I'm a certified financial planner professional and I'm here to help remind you of 10 common items that we forget to deduct. Number one, investment management fees. Number two, home office related expenses. Number three, clothes you donate to any type of charity. Number four, medical expenses, but keep in mind there's a wide variety for the definition of what those medical expenses may be. Unreimbursed business expenses. Refinancing points on a mortgage. Hope and lifetime learning credits. State sales tax, if applicable. Care provided for a disabled child or spouse. And finally, moving expenses, including first jobs for those college students out there. Investment management fees. If you work with a financial advisor and they charge you a management fee on your assets or an hourly planning fee, these expenses can be deductible. It may not be listed on your 1099 report, so be sure to ask your investment advisor if these types of expenses apply to you. Home office related expenses. If you have a home office, keep in mind that you can't deduct the expenses for your entire home and only the portion of expenses that apply to your home office. For example, if you have a cleaning service and they come in and clean your house every week, you can only deduct the percentage of that expense for the space that your home office actually takes up. Clothes that you donate. Many of us have children that grow out of the clothes or we want to clean out our closets and we drop the clothes in a box. Be sure to keep a receipt of what clothes you dropped off and what you think the approximate value may be as that can be deductible. Most of us know that medical expenses are deductible but sometimes we don't realize how large the definition of those medical expenses can be. Keep in mind that orthopedic shoes, wheelchairs, eyeglasses, contact lenses, and other types of medical expenses can be considered deductible. Unreimbursed business expenses. If you work for an employer and you have a W-2 income, unreimbursed business expenses. If you take classes or other types of training to improve your job skills, that can be deductible. If you pay union dues or join an association or have industry specific journals or other types of subscriptions, these can also be deductible. If you're a student or if you have a student in your home, you may want to look into the HOPE and Lifetime Learning Credits. If you live in a state that doesn't have an income tax, you should try to keep all of your receipts because state sales tax can be a deduction. If you've recently refinanced, refinancing points that you paid can also be deductible. Refinancing points. If you've recently refinanced your mortgage, talk to your tax advisor about whether the points you paid on your previous mortgage may be deductible. If you have a disabled child or a spouse, the care and the costs that are associated with that care may also be deductible. If you've recently moved, especially if that move is job related, those expenses can also be deductible. Don't forget that if you're a college student and you're starting your first job. Again, I'm Samantha Freilich and I hope that you remember these 10 common items we forget to deduct the next time you go to file your taxes.